prayerful and positive and purpose. Grace and peace, everyone. I am Pastor Trish, and I am back again for another Motivational Monday moment where I take a moment and share the Word of God with you. So I'm excited. You get excited. Get your Bible, your smartphone, and let's get at it. All right. Today, our scripture is going to be Romans 12, 1 through 2. And it reads, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. And be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Our theme today is entitled, A Spiritual Transformation. Subtopic is a mind thing, all right? Spiritual transformation, it's a mind thing, all right? So when you talk about transformation, it can be external or it can be internal. The definition of transformation is a marked change in form, nature, or appearance, a process by which one figure, expression, or function is converted into another one of similar value. I know that's a lot, all right? So a spiritual transformation is an internal change. It is the renewing of your mind which houses your thinking. That's why it's a mind thing, all right? Text that in your comments. It's a mind thing. It is not the change in the form or appearance that is your spiritual transformation. It is not learning church culture, how to shout, all right? Who can do the fanciest steps? It's not learning the latest cliche, all right? When praises go up, blessings come down, or God is a good God all the time, and all the time God is good. Whatever you say, it's not that, you know, cute cliche that we say. It's not the wearing of dresses down to our ankles, all right? And it's not how you can look real deep, get that gospel look on you. I call it the gospel look, you know, how, as ugly as you can get it, you know, you're deep in Jesus. That's not the type of spiritual transformation that we are talking about, all right? So it's easy to transform the external, the outward man, all right? You don't want to spend thousands of dollars getting an extreme makeover. You all remember those shows, You you know, you come out one way, then they show you another way. You look like a totally different person. So you can do a, a cheap external transformation. Look, put you in some contacts, all right? I have gray. Next week, I may want to put my hazel contacts in. You may want to put some nice looking glasses on, all right? You may want to change your hair. You know, you may want to cut your hair. You may want to curl your hair. You may even want to go bald, all right? Put a wig on, a wig, whatever you want to do for this makeover, all right? And you may want to change your style of dress or you may want to lose a few pounds. So an external makeover is easy, but what we're talking about is an internal makeover. I remember one time uh, I went to New York for a weekend to stay with my cousin. So when my husband let me out at the airport, I looked a certain way. But when he picked me back up three days later, he didn't even know who I was. All right. So I did an external makeover, an external transformation. So what we want to talk about is an internal transformation, a spiritual transformation, right? The mind is where the devil tries to, to defeat us and he uses it as his battleground. All right. So my prayer always is, Lord, keep my mind. Lord, keep my mind. Lord, give me your mind. So the flesh and the spirit are always in constant conflict because of the mind, because of the nature of sinful flesh always sets its when, you know, it's mine, it sets that mind against the mind of the spirit. So when, you know, opposing forces battle within the mind, you have to understand that whatever controls your mind controls you. Whatever controls your mind controls you. Example, your spirit says, you know, it's time to pray. So you start praying and the flesh immediately starts yawning and you start getting sleepy. Or Satan will bring thoughts in your mind while you pray. It's about, have you ever been prayed and all of a sudden you start thinking about something crazy? 
you know, I remember one time I was on a three day fast and I was praying, Lord, all of a sudden I started thinking about ham sandwiches flying around. All right. So it's so easy for the devil to put thoughts in your mind. So this flesh is strong. The flesh wants what it wants and wants it when it wants it. And it's never satisfied. Example, you went to a car dealership and you were on an income because you're trying to pay out some other bills and you just needed a car that was sound that could give you get you to where you needed to go. So you were budgeting for a Corolla. You got to the dealership and you saw this loaded Camry, but you had a Corolla budget. All right. But you bought the loaded Camry. So now you're in debt. All right. So now you think you're happy. A month later, your friend pulls up with the latest SUV. It could have been maybe a GMC, you know, uh, uh, SUV. It could have been a Rogue or whatever. Now you don't like your Camry because now you should you want to sit high like your friend in an SUV. The flesh is never, ever satisfied. All right. So you give into the flesh, but the flesh is only satisfied temporarily okay temporarily so a spiritual transformation is when you give your mind and your attention to the things of god and to the word of god the word of god says to set your affection on things above not on things on the earth that's out of colossians 3 and 2 you have to elevate your mind and your thoughts write that in your comments it's time to elevate your mind all right as the deer panted after the water brook so panteth my soul after thee O god that's in psalms 42 this verse Verses means that you're going to reach for God. You're reaching for God. So even through this pandemic, we need a spiritual transformation. We need to speak and we need to seek the mind of God. We need to stay focused. We must fight depression. You have to fight insecurities and fears and phobias and negative thoughts that may come into your mind. You have to believe the word of God. Yes, your flesh is strong, but God's word is stronger. Hallelujah. This is why you have to be mindful. You have to pay attention to your eye gates. What are you looking at? Pay attention to your ear gates. What are you listening to? Pay attention to your mouth gate. What are you speaking? So my questions are to you today. What are you feeding your mind? What are you looking at? What are you reading? Who's talking to you? Who's in your ear? Okay. Who are you associating with? Is it faith believers or is it doubters? Is it positive people or is it negative people? Are you associating with movers and shakers or procrastinators? Are you associating with praisers or just people who are spectators? All right. Are you associating yourself with prayer warriors or people who are just painful warriors? These are the questions I'm asking you today. This battle is serious. And if I'm going to be on the winning side, therefore, I have to surround myself with faith believers, positive praisers, and those who believe in the power of prayer. So in order not to be conformed to this world, I must be transformed by the renewing of my mind. I must present my body as a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is my reasonable service. Yes, the battle is in the mind. Yes, but I'm standing on the word of God. The word of God says, thou will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on thee because he trusteth in thee. That's Isaiah 28 and 30. We're going to continue this discussion on next week talking about the mind. But this week, I want you to remember that the transformation, the spiritual transformation is a process. You must seek his face daily. So this week, I need you to daily seek his face. This week, watch what you say. Watch who you're surrounded with, all right? Protect your mind. Lord, give me your mind, all right? And I love the hymn that says, daily I shall worship thee. So this week, remember, it's a process. You're going to work on your spiritual transformation. Listen, as I always love to end, be prayerful, be positive, but oh my, be purposed be transformed. God bless.